What, 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 what? He is a used fur coat wearing, scooter riding rapper from the not so mean streets of Seattle. And thanks to him and his unlikely group, you probably now know what it means to pop some tags. I'm gonna pop some tags, only got $20 in my pocket. Ben Haggerty, known to millions as Macklemore, is an overnight sensation. 14 years in the making, half his life writing, performing, and dreaming between local clubs in his beloved hometown of Seattle. Out of all of the thousands of songs that I've written in my life, I never would have thought that Thrift Shot would have been the one that took over. Self-made stardom is not the way the music industry works, yet there they were at the top of the charts, churning through YouTube clicks. All of it in just months, all of it on their own. No record labels, no agents, just Ben, Ryan Lewis, and a dream. We have the leverage, we have control of our music. Why would we want to give that to somebody else? My name is Mac Lamar, and welcome to my crib. <laughs> We caught up with Mac Lamore between shows on what's become a grueling international tour, sprinkled between appearances on Saturday Night Live and the Billboard Music Awards. How different is your bank account now from what it was a couple of years ago? It's very different. We had no money at all. We were both living at home. For Ben, uh, life has completely changed. He's a mega celebrity now. The man with the pipes behind Thrift Shop. I'm gonna pop some tags, only got $20 in my pocket. Is an endlessly friendly 51 year old who dreamed but given up hope of a music career years ago and gone to work for Microsoft. Then Macklemore called. For me this is this is rarefied air. This is dream come true stuff. I am living a dream that I've had literally since 1968. I'll wear your granddad's clothes, I look incredible. First Shop would not be an obvious song for anybody to go, this is gonna do really, really well. I was surprised, everybody here was surprised. It's a song about secondhand sh shopping. It's a recipe they were told would never work, including their subject matter. I might not be the same, but that's not important. No freedom till we're equal. Damn right, I support it. Same love is an anthem to same-sex marriage. Others are eloquently worded first-person accounts of Ben's struggles with addiction, and a number of songs about just plain being yourself. So singing about same-sex marriage, trying really hard, never giving up, being frugal. I mean, that's not exactly, you know, the recipe to rap stardom. No, no. But it's my recipe. And I think that that's why people identify with it. It takes soul searching, it takes using the paper and the pen and turning that into a form of therapy. Mac Lamore has done nothing by the book. The band's second chart-topping single, Can't Hold Us, features a 23-year-old gospel choir singer named Ray Dalton, who wouldn't join unless his grandmother approved. My grandma loves Ben, she likes his words. How is he so down to earth? With all this fame? <laughs> I can't see he's standing right there. Oh, he's the, come on, man. Ben! <laughs> <laughs> Trisha Davis is Ben's fiance, longtime confidant, and tour manager. I knew this from day one. I knew that this was possible. Really? I mean, when you fall in love with a drug addict, uh, totally, you know, can't afford anything guy, and your mom's asking you what the heck you're doing, you know, I knew. From the first time I saw him perform, I was like, he has that potential. Today, the money, the requests, the attention, all of it is rolling in like an avalanche. A lifetime of dreams all at once. Where right, can you go? You could go about 20. Yeah. And this time, it's the music industry on the outside looking in. If we would have signed to a label, I can almost guarantee you we wouldn't have had the success with Thrift Shop and with Can't Hold Us and with the heist in general. Mac Lamore is living the American dream, self-made in a sea of the manufactured, still trying to figure out stardom, suddenly longing for the times he can drive the old caddy that once symbolized the pinnacle of success. Like the man said, this is awesome. I'm Neil Karlinski for Nightline in Seattle.